Come to where art is as stunning as all outdoors and the excitement can become unbearable. Next on Plein Air, painting the American landscape. This program was made possible in part by the Rasmussen Foundation, promoting a better life for Alaskans. The Joan Irvine Smith and Athalie R. Clark Foundation. Welcome to Plain Air, painting the American landscape. I'm your host, Bob Flick. Plain Air painting. The term is French, and we usually translate it to mean painting in the open air. That doesn't quite do it justice. In French, plain air is literally full air, and that implies painting that somehow captures the vibrant dimensional reality of the real thing with all of its motion, indefinable colors, and play of light and shadow of nature, live. And since the days of the fur trade and the gold rush, Alaska has been a magnet for artists who seek a place where nature, live, feels bigger than life itself. Alaska author, art historian, and painter Kessler Woodward said that early artists like Leonard Keith and William Davis seem to have been intent on capturing the spirit of the landscape, more interested in the feeling of the northern wilderness than its topography. Those earliest painters came in the company of missionaries and fur traders and cartographers who had other business on the new and vast northern frontier. Well, the painters still come to record their fleeting experience of Alaska, caught while the light is just right in Alaska's plain air. In today's episode of Plain Air, you'll be with painter Matt Smith of Scottsdale, Arizona, and his fellow artist Ken Backus of Robsonia, Pennsylvania, and Gene Legasic of Silver City, Nevada, in Denali National Park. Mm -hmm. 